Welcome to Electron Line. Here we're going to show that if you have a matrix A and then you multiply it in this order, a matrix B times matrix A times the inverse of matrix B, and then you take the determinant of that product, that should equal the determinant of matrix A. Here we have the two matrices. We have matrix A and we have matrix B. They're both two by two matrices. And we already saw in previous videos that if we took the determinant of matrix A, we simply get 7. Now the inverse of matrix B is equal to 1 over the determinant of B, which is the product of these two diagonal elements, minus the product of those two diagonal elements, which ends up being 1 over negative 10, times the matrix B, but with these two elements exchanged, the minus 4 comes up here, the 3 goes down there, and the signs change of these two elements, this becomes plus 1, this becomes negative 2, and so you can see that this here represents the inverse of matrix B. Then, when we try to find matrix B times matrix A times the inverse of matrix B, it's simply the product of these three matrices. Now what we're going to do here is show that if we take the determinant of this, we should also get 7. But before we can do that, let's multiply these out. Now this constant comes out to the front, so this can be written as minus 1 over 10 times the product of these two. We'll multiply these two first, and then we'll take the product of that, multiply times this matrix. So here we're going to end up with a 2 by 2 matrix. To get the first element, we multiply 3 times 2 plus minus 1 times 3. That's 6 minus 3, which gives us a 3 over here. Then here we have this row times this column for this element. That is 3 times 1 plus 1, negative 1 times 5. That's 3 minus 5, that gives us a negative 2. And here to get these two elements, we start with this row and this column. 2 times 2, which is 4, minus 4 times 3, which is a minus 12. 4 minus 12 is a minus 8. And finally, here we get 2 times 1, which is 2, minus 4 times 5, which is minus 20. 2 minus 20 is a minus 18. And then we multiply this times this matrix, which is minus 4, 1, negative 2, and 3. So continuing with that multiplication, we get this is equal to minus 1 over 10 times, again, we'll end up with a 2 by 2 matrix. This times this is minus 12, minus 2 times minus 2 is plus 4, minus 12 plus 4 is minus 8. To get this element, we multiply this row times this column, 3 times 1, 3, minus 2 times 3 is minus 6, 3 minus 6, minus 3. For the bottom row, we get minus 8 times minus 4, which is a positive 32, and minus 18 times a minus 2 is a positive 36, 32 plus 36 is a 68. And finally, to get, to get this element here, we multiply this row times this column. Minus 8 times 1 is minus 8. Minus 18 times 3 is a minus 54. Minus 8, minus 54, that gives us a minus 62. This here is B, matrix B, times matrix A, times the inverse of matrix B, and that's the result of that. Now what we're going to do with that is we're going to take the determinant of this and that should equal 7. If that's true, then we've shown that this rule actually works. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to take the determinant of B times A times the inverse of B, which is equal to the determinant of that, which means this is equal to minus 1 over 10 to the second power because it's a 2 by 2 matrix, the order is 2, and then we're going to multiply that times the determinant of that matrix, minus 8, minus 3, 68, and minus 62. Might need a calculator for that, so we'll see in just a moment. But first of all, this is going to be 1 over 100, that becomes positive, times this times this. Well, 8 times 60, that's 480, plus 16, that's 496, and it's positive, 496, minus times a minus, well, actually, minus times a minus becomes plus, 3 times 68, that's, that would be 180, plus 24, that would be 204. Notice that this is equal to 1 over 100 
times that 700, which indeed is equal to 7. And notice we've just shown that the determinant of b times a times the inverse of b is equal to the determinant of a. And you can see the rule appears to work. That's how it's done.